And so I always tell my uh, some of the students I work with that before you can, you know, I try to get a little zen into it. Before you can center the clay, you must be able to center yourself. So my name is uh, Julian Rodriguez, and I'm a lecturer uh, in the visual arts department at UT Brownsville. Sculpture One is a beginning course, which is based more on teaching the student or exposing them to problem solving. So I assign projects where they have to solve a certain problem, uh, whether it be material or some technical aspects. Advanced Studio courses, uh, it's an advanced class which uh, helps the students develop their art further. Uh, it's a more of an individual idea. They develop their own ideas. It's uh, an advanced class by this time they should have an idea of what their artwork is about. So what I do is help them uh, build it up or help them enhance it. My area that I work with most is uh, ceramics. Since about 1995, I really started on my own and then I went to work at professional studios in 1996. And I felt that the options out there that that's what I really wanted to do instead was make pottery. The exhibit at the Alonso building features in my series of uh, uh, what I call folk saints or santos and that's something I do aside from pottery it's more creative it's not just sitting at the wheel and making pots it's more involved and uh, I like to include uh, the cultural aspects uh, my culture into my pieces and uh, folk sainthood is really sainthood that it's given to by the people or the folks uh, there it's not an official title so I take that idea and I play with it and make up my own saints at times Santo Remedios which is a saint of remedies and so um, I'm, I put a belt a tool belt on him just like a carpenter or any tradesman would have and on the belt I included uh, tools of the trade which would be recognizable by the culture. The, I put the egg for the ojo, uh, piece of newspaper for taking air out of the, the ear and just herbs in general and, uh, on the hands and on the, on the tool belt. So that just it gives it a connection and those that are familiar with the culture would, I think, would recognize that. Another one I included on there is uh, actually a Mexican wrestling icon, El Santo. And I figured I was making a show on saints or santos that I picked one whose name was already El Santo. So I recreated him in my style. And uh, I got that idea from making pottery. Um, the original one, I was making a bowl, and it started getting wobbly on me and it flopped. So when I picked it up and set it on the table, it looked like it was a figure in a robe. So I added a head and hands and feet, and from there it took off. And the idea is it's fallen pots arising as saints.